Hello everyone, my name is Rara Zaizo and before I start I would like to apologize for any sound distortion or any background noise because I have the AC turned on and it's making a horrible noise. Deal with it, it's so hot and humid, I'm melting. So anyway, welcome to my channel. So after rooting your LG G4 you might ask, what's next? Rooting gives you almost full control over your phone. Today we're going to check out three things you can do with only a rooted LG G4. So the first thing you can do is add the ability to record videos at a higher bitrate and also enable the option to record in 1080p 60fps. By default the G4 comes with full HD recording at 30fps but if you go to the first link down in the description below you'll see how XDA has made a flashable zip to enable 60fps 1080p recording but you only have a rooted device not an unlocked one so we can't flash the zip mentioned in the link down in the description but we can still manually do all the work after all the more manual the process is the more we learn so download any flashable zip you want extract it and go to system then etsy after that extract these two files you see there and transfer them to your phone's storage now what you need to have is a file explorer on your phone able to have root access i'm using es file explorer for that what i'm gonna do is copy these two files then go to system etsy and before I paste these two files, I should check out the original files permissions, which in this case are RWRR. So now when we paste these two files, you can see that their permissions changed. So let's change them back to RWRR and to finish up, let's reboot the phone. Now we have the option to record in full HD at 60 frames per second. The second thing you can do with root is change the screen's density or DPI value. Now this is really easy to do with a simple change in a line in the build.prop file. But this this time and only this time I'm gonna use an app to do that. So download textdroider underscore dpi app from the play store link in the description down below open that up and grant it root access then set your dpi to whatever value you like a lower value means everything will seem smaller i got it down to 540 without breaking anything else but keep in mind that if you go too low the camera app settings app phone app will crash on start you have been warned now the last thing i'm gonna show you is enabling dual window yes lg already has dual window for the g4 but it's only available for a bunch of apps that that honestly I wouldn't ever use together. What we're going to do is change a line in the build.prop file to enable dual window for all apps and I mean all of them. So again using ES file explorer go to slash system slash build.prop and edit that file. Look for the line that says persist.splitwindow.support underscore all and set that to the value true. Make sure that after editing the file its permissions are still rwrr and then reboot the phone. After that get to the overview screen, hit dual window and you got yourself a really long list of apps to choose from for your dual window pleasure. Thank you guys for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it. Like this video if you did, subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Also follow me on Google Plus to see the things that you will never see on YouTube. New videos every single Monday. This is Rara Zaizo on 3 cool tweaks you can do with your rooted LG G4 and I'll see you soon.